True indeed with you. Holy Circle Gaming. Thank you for rocking with your boy. Like always, definitely a privilege and an honor to do as such. Y'all see what we getting into. We back at it. Marvel Puzzle Quest continuing the series. Uh, let me show y'all what we getting into today. Uh, we're going to go backwards in this particular instance. This is all the story modes events, which is just one. It's actually just enemy of the state story mode event for the week. Don't forget to get your Deadpool dailies in. You know, I got to remind y'all of that from time to time because everybody's so focused on getting some of that other stuff done. Did y'all forget to get your Deadpool dailies in? So just a friendly reminder to make sure you get your Deadpool dailies in. Don't be snoozing on that. A lot of good stuff in there like always. Um, you got a couple other things jumping off as well. You got the Sakar Arena jumping off, which is um, relatively no um, short, quick burst events that you could get into, um, which is relatively unique. Um, kind of a unique style to do some arena events if you're looking to get that. Um, I think it's a five star Thor, part of the Thor Ragnarok series. Um, that's the way you get into that particular event by playing um, these little sharp, these little short, small burst events. You may get like a coin or two, but then once you get to the very end, you get a chance to get some higher value coins. So it's definitely not bad at all. You got the vicious cycle event going on, smash hit jumping off as well. Your shield events going on as well. So there's a lot of good stuff jumping off. Got about nine days left before this time season is over, so you definitely want to bang away and get into that. Um, currently what I'm working on right now, if y'all want to get a chance to see what I'm working on, I'm actually working on this here. Um, nothing too, too crazy. Um, just want to go in here and show y'all a little bit, get y'all some gameplay cracking right now. Um, dog, that's a pretty, uh, pretty solid team right there. I'm not even mad at that. So let's go ahead and rock against that team right there. Um, I don't have a Ghost Rider on my team, so this squad doesn't really match up overly well like I thought I would. But here's been kind of the squad, well, here's a couple of variations of squads that I could probably run with it. Um, one of which would be, I could go with, uh, I could go with Daredevil, Daredevil Riri Williams as far as like my particular setup, because those are my two uh, most high volume characters without having a true Ghost Rider in the mix. Um, you basically have to go high, like high volume characters, and I think their team should actually beat my team, to be honest with you, because the combination here with uh, Cyclops and Riri Williams actually makes a lot more sense, to be honest with you, um, than what it would be to go with um, to go with Daredevil. The reason why I kind of went with Daredevil because he's my highest volume character that I have on my squad right now. Um, I'm not going to be totally reliant on black, even though I really could have used that to negate a little bit. I uh, don't want to use those greens either. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. Let's um, let's go ahead and get these get this up and cracking real fast. Um, so tell me how y'all been? Um, how y'all been doing? You know, how's your Marvel Puzzle Quest? How's your Time Yellow season been jumping off? Uh, for me, it's been okay. I haven't been, like I said, super strong in the paint as of late. As of late, uh, but I have been playing. Just been kind of gradually rolling around. Nothing major. That's a bad play by me. Jeez. Jeez, super bad play by me. Um, but everything's been rolling along. Nothing to complain about on my end. Hope everything's going well on your side of the on your side of the world. Um, hope your gameplay's been going going well. Hope your life, everything in your life has been going well and indeed. Um, but everything's been cool on my front, I tell you that. You know, just banging away a lot of work and stuff. Um, trying to get as much gameplay in as as possible. I am gonna maybe maybe start running this live I've been kind of testing out a couple of setups where I could try to maybe run this live so possibly I'll be able to run some live um some things live as opposed to running it recorded so that is a something that is in um in motion I'm trying to work on that to get y'all some live footage for you um something that I'm kicking around considering so we'll see uh we'll see as we go along I don't like having the I don't like having ambush there, and I really don't want to go with remote control gauntlets because my remote control gauntlets ain't gonna do anything for me. Um, burning rubber is not gonna do anything as well. I think the play I probably want to do currently is I am I'm gonna use my ambush right now. I'm, I'm cool with ambush. Worst case scenario, um, if I need it a little bit later on down the line, I could um, probably pick it up later. I wish I had um. 
She-Hulk would actually be really good in this instance too if she was powered up. Uh, but uh, keep him uh, still moving along up. Selfless Intervention is probably going to be a solid move for me. It does like 4,000 damage, sends him in the air if he gets a little bit more whoever character gets a little bit more volume um outside of that i'm actually um be able to stun real quick which is be just as equally as good i think i'm gonna go billy club here let that billy club bounce around but yeah but everything's been good on my front man you know like nothing to complain about um you know kind of like a weird thing have do y'all like the new four I, I know we haven't really talked about it too much i think i talked about it before but i will get into it for a minute um do y'all like this new um format that they're going to as far as like the ranking system um not just ranking by i'm uh, not just playing the games by virtue of uh, how like the type of teams that you're playing against but literally how many wins that you're getting um you know i'll kind of you know the more that i play this um just play the win factor you know just win as many games as you can it's actually pretty cool but it does put somewhat of a premium on you actually if you're really trying to get to like the top levels it does put a little bit of a premium on you getting you know to like top tiers it does put a premium on you actually having to play some pretty top-notch competition too. You can't really kind of skimp and not play um, top-notch competition. Um, you definitely want to get some of your um, some good competition in. Uh, not, nothing there, and he need to do nothing there. Do nothing there. Let's do this. Since he's stunned. But yeah, I kind of like this format. It kind of grew on me. At first, I wasn't like overly big on this format. But it actually grows on you because, see, what you can do in this particular format, it's going to really dot me up. What you could do in this format, you could actually get a lot of, like, um, awards literally just by playing. Which, that, I do like that a lot about um, what, um, what D3 and the team actually did in this particular instance. Being able to just literally just get your... Um, just get wins by any means possible. That's actually not a bad idea or a bad look by any stretch. I actually kind of like that concept. Um, if you get um, a bunch of wins, you could get a lot of the points as opposed to like striving to get like um, before to get like the command points. You would need like 575 points, for example. Uh, for a lot of people, that was really hard to do because depending on the time that you played and what tier that you're playing, it wasn't really that easy or that obtainable to get the 575 uh, points necessary in order to get the 10 command points so it did make it a lot harder this way is a little bit easier wow you're gonna dot me up for 3,000 it's a little bit easier to get it done um, in this particular instance because to get 16 wins I think it's a slight bit easier to get those 16 wins down versus going ahead and getting the um oh I don't have another blue wow versus um go ahead and getting the um the 575 like points necessary i do like this format a lot better um especially from a, a rewards point of view now does it make it a little bit too easy possibly um that's that's a very legit argument it could very well be a slight bit too easy to um to get like the awards now but it does give ch uh, players a much easier chance to get um to get items and to get certain things by playing versus mode so it does put a little bit bigger premium on getting the versus modes down Ooh, dual ambush i like it one ambush there two ambushes there give me the other one wow y'all ain't gonna give me the other one back oh don't 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 cheat me don't don't cheat me um this is well what I was going to do is Billy Club, but I'm not, I don't think, but I am going to um, dual ambush and see if you give me the dual ambush this time. Wow. It's like y'all straight up there, straight cheating. Let's go Billy Club there. And so I got two and two and one there, so get the double ambush there. Not bad. I still got the fifth one. I got a five. I got a five shot right there. If y'all see a little five shot with the team ups, little five shot with the team ups right there. Um, and then, wow. Oh, I got another uh, team up there. 
yeah, that team did work out pretty okay for me. Nothing too, too crazy, but it did work out pretty well for me. Um, I had to really use, like, some powered-up teams in order to get that down, so it wasn't really, like, an easy way to go, but it definitely worked out um, pretty well so far. So definitely good there, but this is a pretty, this has been a pretty heated uh, competition. Uh, this is a very good combination, too. Don't get it wrong. I like this combination a lot. It's, a, it's hard to overcome that. You really need to go, um, if you're going to play against this one, and I've seen that combination. I have used that combination a couple of times. I think I would counter that. Um, going with, like with my particular team, to counter that, I could go, um, I could go with um, Wolverine. And then I will go with Cyclops in this particular instance. Because if I need the blacks, I can. I can utilize the reds a little bit better. Um, then I could go dual blacks. Or I could go with... Um, I could go with Kamala Khan to kind of use the greens and the the greens and the purple action. I could actually go with um, I could actually go with Gwenpool as well. Either one works out pretty well, but in this instance, I would definitely go with um, I would definitely go with Kamala Khan in this instance. I will go with that team to counteract that. The reason why, because you kind of want to catch um, you kind of want to catch Iron Fist a little bit, generating the blacks. You want to kind of catch them slipping a little. Because if you could catch him slipping slightly, uh, what the option is, he'll throw enough blacks out there for you to kind of utilize and turn to your advantage too. Um, the one thing that you want to guard against is this here, that little protectile. You got to kind of get get that off pretty quickly. He's going to get four of those purples off top. Wow. Um, let's go this way. Let's go and... Um... I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and chase these purples out the way. I know he's gonna get some purples shortly, so he can spend some blacks, which is fine. Which is fine. That's not necessarily a horrible thing for what we're doing right now. Um, pretty tough. Um, this is a pretty tough scenario right here that you're going up against because this team can and likely does a lot of a lot of high volume, a lot of serious damage could be done with this particular team. So you gotta really be careful when you're going against the you know the iron, the iron fist, Luke Cage combo that could really wreck. Yeah, I could really wreck your squad if you're not paying attention. Uh, what I'm gonna do in this particular instance, I am going to go. I'm going to go in human stretchiness right here. Um, I could go with the black in human stretchiness, which is probably maybe ideal enough, or I could go blue. But there's a lot of ways the blues can kind of bounce around, so I'm gonna actually go with the black, even though I could use the blacks. But I'm going to go and kind of use it against the greens. And see, that kind of worked out pretty okay as well. Um, then what I could do is a couple of things here. I could either A, um, I could chase the reds down a little bit, which is an option. I could B, get the red four. But I don't really have anything that utilizes red stuff for Hellfire, which here and there. Um, I like more of the green action here because... Um, the green-blue combination would probably work out. I don't really need the blue, but I could use the greens more so than anything else. I could take these greens away. I'm actually going with this red here. That's actually not a bad play. I could get the two greens out the way. I know what it's going to do. It's going to set up him a chance to spin some blacks onto the board, which is not a horrible idea. I could go Hellfire here, which is fine. Yeah, that's, that's fine. I, I'll leave it up there for the moment being... Um, X-Force I could use, but I'm not going to use it just yet. Um, what I want to do, or at least the intent, is to go ahead and, um, the intent is to go ahead and get these 12s right here. Let them spend some black ones there, which is fine because it wasn't, like, all over the place. They didn't, like, group up like I thought they would, but that's kind of what I wanted to see. I want to kind of get some black ones in play. So, at least I could get um, Surgical Strike cracking if necessary. My Surgical Strike actually goes against greens, which is cool. But I am going to go with stretching this right here to kind of give myself the advantage. And then drop down and go ahead and get those. So, I have enough greens in play where this could actually um, benefit me some. Um, especially if I want to go ahead and, as opposed to attacking um, Iron Fist, which I could probably get him out the way. I'm going to actually go ahead and attack Luke Cage and do some damage to him, which I could have finished off one of them, but I like the I like going after Luke Cage in this instance because I could slow him down. 
Um, Iron Fist can and will probably dot me up some, uh, but not nearly as bad as what I think. I should consider maybe getting these purples out the way. Um, I should consider getting those purples out the way, which I will. Because I know he's going to get some he's gonna get some purples. No, he didn't go for the purples like I thought he was. And those are going to keep spinning out, which is cool. I don't have a problem with them spinning out. I don't have anything that I that is really overly useful for me. Um, them yellows are cool, but I'm going to actually go with the black. I'm going to actually go with the black right there and then go um, purple again. I'm trying to negate those purples some. Yeah, we're going to keep negating those purples there. He's going to throw his Hellfire out there, which is fine. I'm not I'm not overly mad about that. Um, what I could do, thinking about it, I could go yellow, yellow. Um, I could play the yellow shot. Um, yeah, let's play the, I could play the yellows here because the likelihood is there's only four of them, so, or five, so the likelihood is, is that it'll at least give me a five shot here, and it does, and it does, it gave me the five shot as I, as I thought it was going to do, um, then I could do a couple of things here, I kind of like the black green combo here, didn't do enough damage to get him out the way. I'm not worried about Hellfire. I am kind of worried about that a little bit. That that could be a little bit of a problem. Um, I really wish I could get a green in this instance. Another another green play would actually be really, really good. Um, I could X-Force it out the way. Mm. Uh, burning Rubber would um, do some damage, but this is what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm gonna leave all that be. I'm gonna go ahead and go with the. I'm gonna go with the black right there. You know, Hellfire is fine. Burning Rubber is fine. So we're still we're still up. We're not up by a. We're not up by a bunch. We're not up by a bunch. Oh, I don't have another black. Oh no, I don't have another black. Let's see. I need a green place somewhere. Let's do this. Let's take these out the way. And that should be my green play that I need up top. Um, he's going to change them, though. Wow. Um, not, not horrible. Not horrible. I really needed that green, but since I don't have it, what I'm going to have to do as opposed to... Um, I'm going to have to go this way. I could go with the black. I think I'm going to go with these purples here. That's a good jab. That's a good jab. And he's going to get a play. That's exactly what I want you to do. I wanted you to kind of mess yourself up there. Okay. Now, I need to get these greens. I need to link these greens up. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go in human stretchiness. I'm going to do it against... Uh, um, can I do it against blues? Oh, I know I'm going to do it against the purples. I'm going to do it against these purples on the bottom. Yeah, I'm going to do it against these purples on the bottom, which is just fine for me. Then I want to do him going big and bash to kind of make sure I get that out the way. So there's no chance for him to really do anything else. And then from here, I'm going to put Wolverine. Yep, 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 yep. Wolverine there. Then I can Surgical Strike against the greens, which should be just about enough. Maybe we'll, we'll do it. Should be just about enough to get it done. There you go. Not too bad there. Not too bad there. So, so definitely a pretty solid run there. So that's what's going on. Um, the only disadvantage in playing this particular versus mode without having a, a real Ghost Rider to kind of help your cause, you re I'm really relying upon just two characters to get the job done. Um, as far as like my squad is concerned, let me let y'all see what the squad is working with. Squad is actually doing. Um, doing pretty okay no major league changes that i made so the squads kind of stayed put i think the only thing that i did from the last time i actually took out sandman added yondu 
I know a lot of people in my thread, so shout out to E Hero, uh, Nick, and a couple other people who kept um, nodding in on the Yandu shot. So I actually put a Yandu in on my squad. Um, only have the blue, only have the blue covers for him currently, but it's actually been pretty official. I'm not gonna front. I actually like Yandu. Gave it a little bit of run, even with just the blue covers. I actually like him. So. He actually is taking the spot of Sandman because I know everybody was down on Sandman, so I don't have a Sandman on my squad anymore. Um, I actually put Yandu up there as well. I got a bunch in the hole, don't get it wrong. Um, I got a bunch to kind of like sort through and sift through. Um, I still got that Vulture and that Nova sitting in the hole. Got a little bit of time to decide what I want to do with them. Um, I got Sentry, got that Ragnarok I probably may upgrade at some point. Um, but that's what I'm working with in the hole. Got a bunch of two stars in the holes, like always. But I gotta pull some stuff too, y'all. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pull these um, really, really quick. Just to let y'all know what I need to get to as far as like the pulls is concerned. Um, what do I got? I got eight in a taco ball, so I definitely need to get those off because the taco ball changes over today, and we'll talk about that momentarily. Uh, what else do I have in here? Um, friends will work. That's kind of dope. Um, I got that Vicious Psycho I need to pull as well. I got two in a Sakaar Arena that I, we're going to look into as well. Um, I have four Heroic. I have 19 Standard. Let's go ahead and start pulling. Um, how has your pulls been going, y'all? How, how has they been? Uh, my pulls has been okay, y'all. I haven't really pulled since my last go-around about a week or so ago. But the pulls have been pretty good. Um, nothing overly crazy, nothing overly, like, horrible, well, I can say it ain't been overly horrible, I have had some, like, horrible pulls, but nothing overly crazy, you know, I'm not gonna front, the pulls hasn't been, like, crazy bad or crazy good, you know, as of late, they've just been pretty, like, stat quo, down the pipe, you know, pause, stat quo, down the middle, you know, you know, good pulls, you know, nothing great, nothing to get gas about, getting those Yandus the last go round was actually a good look, so I wasn't really mad at that at all, um, hopefully we get a chance to maybe catch a good four star somewhere down the line, I would really like to have some of that action, um, for, uh, some four star action would be real good, a five star would definitely help, especially if another five star to links up with one of my five stars I have, that would definitely help for sure, but like you see here, I'm really not getting nothing out of these standard packs at all. Like nothing at all. Which is pretty crazy because normally I would get a little something something out of these um standard packs. But nothing at all. So that's pretty wild. So you only got one two star out the whole thing. Which is pretty um pretty close to ratio. Normally um, you'll get about a two two stars out the mix and a whole bunch of ones. That's pretty much how the ratio is. So I guess it's kind of going back to normal for me. Uh, these are little elites action. I got 17 of these elites too. Um, going to be a, probably a bunch of twos, but I really hope it's some good three stars in this mix as well. Um, bunch of two stars. I could actually maybe consider dropping Wolverine back in my mix. Good uh, Loki pull. I like that. Well, we could take the Loki for sure. Uh, another set of two stars. Um, some th uh, there's some three stars that's actually worth upgrading. Another uh, vision. Eek. I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't like. I'm not horrible. On, I'm not mad at vision. It's just I'm not big on him either. That's the reason why he's not on my squad. That's why he sat for a period of time. Another Wolverine. Uh, ooh, rock and a groove. We'll take that rock and a groove because it doubles. Yep, Hawkeye. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. <clears throat> Uh, Ares, I can actually use an Ares ASAP because in the story mode I'm working on right now, that Ares would work out pretty well because I actually need him to kind of advance along. Um, dual Captain Marvels that you just saw, good good double up on the Captain Marvel shot. Doc Ock, which I don't have on my squad. I thought about it a few times but didn't put him on. Another Dakin, which I probably may consider putting that two-star Dakin up soon because I think I have enough covers to make that worthwhile at this point. Uh, Black Widow there. Oh, I need I need another three star. Can I get one more three star out the mix? Another storm. Can I get another three star out the mix? And the bull's like, jeez. Nothing too fire out of that, but it was okay. It was okay. Black Widow two star there. Let's get a four star. Can we get a four star off the heroic? Nope. Another two star storm. Can we get a four star out the heroic? 
it's a three star out the heroic that's a gamora three star that's cool we could work with that because at least it doubles into storm and that, that works i like the double up action can we get a four nope no four stars wow wow no four stars out there it happens oh oh let me go back um this is the, the sakar arena um, so if you had a chance to get a, get a couple of these uh, covers, uh, same thing as same thing applies. It's just in the pack odds, um, you got a one and five, one in a five hundred thirty three shot of getting a Doctor Strange Hulk and or the New School Thor, which is a pretty long shot. But here's the good odds, you know, Agent Cole, Single Mora, Iron Fist, uh, you know, one in sixteen, which makes it about a uh, about a one in five chance roughly to get one of those so if you had five covers it gives you a one in five chance and maybe you got to catch another vulture that would be kind of cool another yondu would be cool um so you got a couple of chances to get something pretty solid out of there but it's a two star wow really at least give me a three or four wow two two stars that's so sorry that's so sorry. Shout out to my boy Boom Boom Shot Put. He said that thing was gonna be sorry too, and it was. It was the womp womp. Shout out to my boy Boom Boom Shot Boom Boom Shot Put. Holy Circle Gaming. Um, man, he said he had said, man, I made my pulls on that Sakar Arena, and it was garbage, and he was not wrong. Oh, I'm so mad about that. This is my vicious cycle one, and that's a two star as well. Two star Hawkeye, which I can actually use, believe it or not. And then we got the um, then we got the Taco Ball jumping off. Um, who do I got in that Taco Ball? Is that Nick Fury? Yep, that's that Nick Fury in there. I got that Venom, which I got off of that legendary token. Um, it's a couple of top end pulls. Um, Doctor Doom, um, Squirrel Girl, um, Mystique is in there. Um, Hulk is in there. Um, Sam Wilson is in there. You got a couple of shots at um, you got a shot at Thanos. Um, a couple of shots at Vision in there. So a couple of things you could get on the top end of things. So definitely not bad if there's some top end um, action that you're trying to get into. Um, to me, there's another Dakin in there, of course. Of course, of course, there is another Dakin. That's just a shout out to my boy E Hero and Nick Gracia and all the boys who always want me to drop that Dakin in there, especially that three star one. I know, I know, I know. Every time that Dakin comes up, I think about y'all every single time until I decide to put him on my squad. But soon enough, soon enough, we'll definitely uh, give it a thought to maybe put that on there. Some ISO aid, which I kind of don't need right now, but I well, I will because I think I'm a, I think I'm gonna upgrade my rags finally. Let him go ahead and really do his tank thing and upgrade his rags. Uh, some more isolate. I guess that's all going to help my cause in the isolate. If anything, I need to upgrade. Uh, Cause I got like um, 280 is what I'm looking at as far as like isolate's concerned. So I don't really need a whole bunch of isolate. Another another two star. Everything's bottom. Everything's bottoming out for me right now. But you know, isolate's always good. You can never have too much isolate. Don't get it wrong. At first, I was getting mad at getting isolate, but you can never have too many of these either. We could take some of them. We'll take 250 coins. We'll take that. Never be mad at getting coins either. That always gives you a chance to open up a roster slot. In which I may have to open up a roster slot sometime soon. Um, especially if I get like a good solid uh, 4 star or something that maybe is worth the while. Or maybe another 3. You know, maybe it is a Vision or somebody that I need to drop in there. I don't like Vision, but I may drop them in there. But definitely not bad at all. But I definitely have room to do some things with those coins, so it's definitely not bad at all. Um, oh, I got some in the Enemy of the State. Oh, my fault. Since I have some Enemy of the State, I actually will take a look at those too. Um, you got Legendary Coin in Enemy of the State. You got the 4-Star Gamora, 4-Star Iceman. Um, that's a Quake right there. Some shots of Storm. Uh... See, I'm um, Sam Wilson, amongst others. Ah, oh, I forgot I had two of them things. Man, can we get that? Um, can we get that Gamora? Gamora be really good right now. That like four star one. Uh, three star Magneto's cool too. I'm not mad at that. We'll work it. We'll work with that. That's a little top end pull coming out of that pack. But a four, uh, one of those four stars will work. Iceman will work out just good too. Don't get it wrong. I'll take either one of those too. Miss Marvel, eh, no, that's all right, that's all right, that's not horrible, that's not horrible at all, but definitely not bad, let me go ahead and take a look to see, 
what's going on with the roster. Let's go ahead and sell a few things real quick. Uh, sell off these one stars. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the two. See what twos I have. Um, I, I pulled a bunch of Captain Marvels. Oh, not enough to get a heroic coin though. That's horrible. Magneto will bump up one. He'll be at 185, which is cool. Um, that Hawkeye will bump up some. I did pull a couple of them as well. I pulled a lot of, um, put a few human torches as well to give me another set of command, um, set of coins as well. I like that. He'll be at 121. Um, I en route to 140. Uh, what else do we have? We had a storm that upgrades as well. Gets gets him to 169. Not bad there. Got that Gamora. Just get a little bit of push. She'll be at 170. Just upgraded her just recently. That's the reason why that Gamora is not really that high up right now. Um, next uh, next one of those Black Widows. Give me 50 um, command points as well. Anything else? Oh, I got that Hawkeye. Hawkeye's a good look as well. Gave me 1,000 there. Two command points upcoming off the next one. Um, and they do need to put that Ares on the board. 190 for... Um, 190 for rocking and group anything else got that Loki that was one of the first ones that I put on the deck very good there um, Not bad not bad not bad. I don't think there's anything else in there right now The only thing I really need to look at is Do I have enough Wolverines to kind of maybe add him into the mix? I maybe have enough Dakins too. Let's take a look. I got one Dakin two Dakins I got two Dakins three Four, five, six, seven, eight, eight Dakins and um, Wolverines. I probably got like one, maybe got enough Wolverines to maybe get them on the squad. Two Wolverines there, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, got 10 Wolverines, 10 Wolverines, eh, maybe close, um, need 3 more, so I'll think about that, so definitely not bad there, um, let's do this, let me, um, let me go ahead and do this real fast, uh, I didn't think I was going to do this, but I will, we'll go ahead and upgrade um, rags real fast, I have the, I have the isolate to do it, so I'm going to go ahead and promote him up, Promote him up, get him up, get the legendary, get the legendary coin for him. So he's the last one I had, I had to upgrade. So I said I might as well go ahead and upgrade him. Let's go ahead and pull this latest legend here and take a look at this four star. Ooh, I actually need that four star. Thank you, thank you. I needed that four star. Let's go ahead and pull one out of the, we'll pull one out of the classic. There's a classic five I could really use right now. But it's a four star. Man, I thought I was going to get a five out of it. I needed that five. Red Hulk. Okay, okay. I don't know how good or not good Red Hulk is. Y'all got to let me know. Let me know if that Red, Hulk, that Red Hulk is pretty official. I don't know if he is or not. Um, but I may give him some run. I don't know if he's I don't know if he's that ill or not. I don't know if he's just okay. Uh, but I, I see a lot of people rock with him. Oh, I don't have any more room for him. No, the one, oh, I forgot he's maxed out on the reds, yo, that's not good, man, dang it, that's not a good pull after all, oh, that's so unofficial right now, because that Cyclops is, dog, he's not maxed, he's already maxed out. Dang it, he's maxed out on the reds. It's alright though, I'm not even mad at that, but definitely appreciate y'all rocking with your boy, man. Like I said, I got some things upcoming. Uh, next thing on the horizon, uh, remember I told you we're going to do a redo of the top five characters. Um, start getting in mind, we're going to start working on those one stars first. What I'm going to do, I am going to drop my list of one stars for you. Then I want you to go ahead and uh, get prepared in the comments. Um your top set of one stars um not on you maybe not if you want to do it on this particular video you can but you could definitely do it on the next one or the next um maybe in about a week or so and we'll work on it 
Um, so next week, I'm going to start working on one-star characters. My top one-stars is coming out shortly, the 2017 edition. Cause since I didn't get a chance to rock it earlier this year, we're going to do the 2017 top one-stars. That's going to be first and foremost. That's going to be coming down the pipeline. So that's going to be my, um, my, my homework for the week is to get my one-stars ready for you so I can be prepared for but be prepared to present that. So, um, one-star characters. Let me know what your top one-star characters are. Drop them in the comments if necessary. Um, so, oh, y'all can give me your ideas and feeds about um, top one-star characters. We're going to definitely get into that um, and work our way up the ladders. We're going to do one-stars and two-stars, and we're going to work our way up the ladder. So, one-stars first, y'all. Let me know what your, good, um, um, your top one-star characters are so we can go ahead and get that list compiled. Um... Then we all get prepared for two stars shortly thereafter. Um, let me know how y'all pulls have been going, everything else. And it's definitely an honor to do this with y'all. You know who I am. I'm Mr. True Indeed, of course. Y'all know who I represent. It's the Holy Circle Gaming. Shout out to y'all. This God above everything. Until the next time, family, we'll do it again soon. Salute.